welcome 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 hallelujah welcome 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 bless you here tonight hallelujah welcome Thank you, Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. Let us share it. Let us share the message. Allow the Lord to use you. Yes. Hello, the Lord to use you, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Instagram, Facebook, YouTubers, welcome. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is with us, and greater is He that is in us than them that's out there in the world. Welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Welcome, Texas. Welcome, New Jersey. Welcome, South Carolina, Virginia Beach, Bridgeport, Connecticut, California. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you all. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and share this message. Ocho Reyes, Jamaica, welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Let the power from heaven fall on us tonight. Let the power from heaven fall on us tonight my God glory to God yes Maryland welcome New Jersey again God bless you God bless you welcome as you join go ahead and share welcome It is well, it is well, it is well, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May the Lord do you good in this time. Whatever you're looking for, it's my prayer that the Lord answer those prayers. May the Lord give you the utterance, hallelujah, to make declarations 
and it come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth it is well thank you Jesus somebody go ahead and share this message now let us pray people of God father in the name of Jesus we say thank you for tonight thank you for what you're gonna do here tonight Lord God thank you for your people that have gathered thank you daddy Jesus hallelujah Lord we thank you for your goodness and your mercy endure it forever Lord, we say thank you. You never leave us. Lord God, we say thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you, Lord, for wiping the tears. Thank you, Jesus. It is well with our soul. My God, we thank you for those that are waiting in line for a breakthrough, for those that are waiting in line for healing, for those that are waiting in line for deliverance. For those that are waiting in line for their children's breakthrough. For those that are searching for an answer. Lord, we thank you for the answer tonight. Lord, we thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the things that you're about to, the doors that you're about to open. Thank you, Lord God, for the healing and the deliverance and the favor, the miracle that is about to be performed. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We bless you. We magnify you. We worship you. We adore you. Lord, we love you. Lord, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the word. We thank you for your promises. Thank you, Jesus. For your faithfulness. Your goodness and your mercy is towards us. Promise keeper. My God, we say thank you. You are a way maker. Our deliverer, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for El Shaddai prayer tower. Lord, I thank you for the people that are coming faithfully, that believe in your word. Bless them tonight, O oh God. Let your will be done in their life according to your word. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember the ones that are sick tonight. Remember the ones that are broken. Remember the ones, oh God, that are in pain. Lord God, we say thank you for the opportunity where we can come together and come in agreement according to your word. Where two are gathered in your name, where two are more. You are in our midst. And Lord, we say thank you for being in our midst. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Remember the ones that are not saved, Lord God. Remember them. Remember the ones, O oh God, that are waiting for confirmation. Remember the ones, mighty God, that are waiting for a word. Remember the ones who are waiting for instructions. Let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have your way tonight, Daddy. Tonight we decree and we declare that all that was taken away from us, it will be restored back to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, even now, bless your people. Bless them, Lord God. I cover myself in the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. We bless you now, Daddy, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome one, welcome all. Jesus. Glory to God. Somebody help me go ahead and share this message. 
Hartford, Connecticut, welcome. Hartford, Connecticut, we welcome you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Windsor, Connecticut. Welcome. God bless you. Kingston, Jamaica. God bless you. Welcome, Canada. Hallelujah. People of God, you know, I miss you all. Revival Monday, yesterday. I've been sitting here looking at the book of Psalm, chapter 27. It says, When the wicked, even my enemies, Even my enemies and my foes came unto me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Hallelujah. The wicked, your enemy, when they come to eat up your flesh, to destroy you, to devour you, David said, they stumbled and they fell. Hallelujah. He said, Though an host camp against me, my heart shall not fear. I came to talk to somebody tonight. Though an host camp, <laughs> Lord Jesus, encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this, I will be confident. When your enemies begin to war against you, be confident. Whenever you see that some negative things are happening around you, it's a distraction for you to miss your blessings. Don't miss your blessings because of a mere distraction. The word of God said, Though war should rise up, against me in this i will be confident so when they are coming against you to war with you be confident it doesn't matter who sometimes the enemy will use the person that's laying next to you he will use your supervisor he will use your boss he will use the system i just want you to know be confident be confident be confident in the very thing that he who have started a good work in you shall take it to the perfect day of Jesus Christ. Be confident. It doesn't matter who is coming. Be confident. The songwriter said, I'm reaping the harvest that he promised me. And I'll take back everything the devil stole from me. I will rejoice today because I will recover it all. Christ is going to give it back to me. All of it. So whatever you have lost, I'm talking about some people who have, who have lost, some people who are losing. Christ is about to allow you to recover all. Hallelujah. Be confident when they come against you. Don't fight back. Be confident. Because the moment you begin to fight them back, you begin to feed into what they are doing, you begin to pay attention to what the enemy is doing. That is a distraction. Be confident. Be confident in the very thing that when the enemy come up against you to fight with you, you know that it's not going anywhere. God have your back. God has gotten your back. Be confident. Mm -hmm. I came to talk to somebody here tonight. Be confident. 
you cannot see behind you. Be confident. Allow the Lord to work it out. The word of God declare. When the storm is raging, be confident. The disciples were on the ship with Jesus and he was fast asleep. And when the storm came, there was no storm when they were entering the ship. There were no storm when Jesus was entering the ship with the disciples. So when Jesus fell asleep, he, he was tired. Just know that he is your father in heaven. Trust in him. It doesn't matter what is fighting you. It doesn't matter what is coming up against you. Be confident in the very thing that he who starts something good in your life will finish it. He is a finisher. Yes, he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. He is a finisher. I came tonight to talk to someone here. Hallelujah. Fear not. Fear not. David said, one thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek after. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God, who am I talking to here tonight? Be confident. Be confident. Mighty God, be confident. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited because of this message. It hits here to encourage us to be confident. God wants us to know that he's here with us. So whatever your situation is, don't get discouraged. Mighty God, don't get discouraged. He said, when the evil people come to devour me, my enemies, when they come to attack me, they will fall. It means that whatever God is doing in your life, he will never allow your enemies to attack you. I came to tell you here tonight, fear not. Fear not. Whatever they are doing, they can't stop you. It doesn't matter how much they are coming up against you. They can't stop you. Be confident. Fear not. Things might not look good. Things might not sound good. The odds may be against you. But I want you to know, be confident. It's the word of God. Moses told Joshua, he said, don't be afraid of their faces. Don't fear them. It means that the enemy have a way to look for us to be afraid. And the Bible said we shouldn't be afraid. My God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. He said, though war should rise up against me, in this I will be confident. Hallelujah. Hey, Jesus, know who your God is. You don't have to argue. I came to make declarations. I'm here to make declarations. Jesus. David said, one thing I desire of the Lord, that I seek, I seek most, is to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, delighting in the Lord's perfection and meditating in his temple. You will have your peace. Welcome. Happy New Year, Mr. Wade. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, New York. There is nothing more greater 
than having a relationship with God. There's nothing more greater than knowing that those that came up against you fell. You didn't even know it. They came up after you and they stumble and they fall. When the hand of God is upon your life, those who are fighting against you will fall. Many times they fall, but you didn't know because you're not in their presence. Don't fear anything. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. People of God, trust Him. Trust in the Lord. David said in the time of trouble, He shall hide me in His pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. So when trouble come, God will hide you. When trouble come, oh Jesus, who am I talking to here tonight? When trouble come, he will hide you. Stay under the shadow of his wings. Don't worry about who is fighting you. Don't worry about who is coming up after you. Once you are safe in his arms, when trouble come, trouble is not for you to worry about. He will hide you in his pavilion. The word pavilion here means a sanctuary. When trouble come, he will hide you. Don't worry. Don't allow what's happening, the signs of the times affect you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever God said about you, He is serious. He said He takes pleasure in your prosperity. God don't lie. Hallelujah. God never lie. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God never lie. Oh, Bada Kashaya. God never lie. So I came to let you know tonight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Stay under the shadow of his wings. Stay under the shadow of his wings. He don't lie. Jesus wants you to understand. When your storm is raging, leave it to him. Even if the water is coming up to your neck, trust him. Trust God in this process. Whatever you're going through, it's a process. Trust God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your path. So He is a director. He will direct your path, meaning that He is your navigator, He is your GPS system. Number one, He will hide you. When trouble come. Number two, when your enemy come up against you, they will stumble and fall. So you keep on walking and, me, and, and, and encourage yourself. You keep on walking and praying. You keep on holding your head up high. Be steadfast. And those that are behind you, they will just fall. Because God already hide you. Don't worry. Don't worry about your enemies. Don't waste your time. And worry about them. Let God deal with them. Hide you. In his pavilion. He said he will hide you. God don't lie. He wants you to. He wants you to understand. Sister Gracia Smith as tired as you are. As tired as you get, the Lord said, I should tell you, keep on pushing. 
It's not easy to pray. Especially when you're not certain of the things. You see the things in your face, but you're not sure. God said, keep on pushing. Sister Gracia, God said, keep on pushing. Mm -hmm. He said, keep on pushing. Even when you think God is not listening, even when he didn't answer you right away, keep on pushing. Keep on praying. Because he is a God that answers prayer. He's not going to answer on your watch, on your time. He's going to answer on his time, on his watch, on his clock. Because he's a prayer answering God. He's a prayer. He's a prayer answering God. He is a prayer answering God. Don't stop praying. You feel like it's not going anywhere. You feel like, wow, I don't know what to pray about. I pray every prayer for my children and myself. And nothing is happening. God is saying, keep on praying. You will be victorious. Whatever the enemy has taken away from you and your children. God said, I'm going to restore you and your children. God is saying, I'm going to restore you. None will be left out. None, not one will be left behind. God said, I'm going to restore you and them. Jesus. God said, I'm going to restore you and your children. Don't stop praying. You are this close to your breakthrough. You are this close. Hallelujah to your breakthrough. Don't stop. Hallelujah. We serve our prayer answer in God. Yes, he's a God of restoration. Divine restoration is about to enter you and your children's lives. I decree and I declare it done in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord said not one of your children will be left out. None will be left out. My God. God is doing it. And no man can stop it. No woman can stop it. No woman can change it. No man can change it. Because God has said it. And so shall it be. In heaven and on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. You know. I hear the Lord said. Hallelujah. Even if. You're the only person. He sent me here to speak to tonight. It is finished. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Claim your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. He said, your enemies, don't worry about them. They are going to fall. Those who have been fighting you, I came tonight to let you know. Those who have been fighting you here tonight, those who have been coming up against you, God said, I should tell you that they are going to stumble they are going to fall he is hiding in his, his pavilion and then he is going to destroy your enemies yes declare it he said he is hiding you in his pavilion my God for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. So when trouble come, don't even sweat. Don't even worry. God is hiding you in his pavilion. And it, listen to me, people of God. Decree and declare your blessings. Somebody said it is finished. God is hiding you. My God. God is hiding you. I hear the Lord said, I'm going to release people in this month. Somebody go ahead and declare my release. I declare my release. I declare my release. It could be your finances. It could be your marriage. It could be a ring. Yes, it could be that new position. It could be a promotion. It could be your education. It could be your home. It could be your business. I hear the Lord said, release. 
release release somebody declare a release in the name of jesus christ of nazareth declare that release now declare that release right now the lord said i am releasing people i am releasing favor in the name of jesus christ of nazareth somebody go ahead and open your mouth and declare it the lord said i release he is releasing you yes declare it declare it Lorraine Jacko, go ahead and declare it. Evangelist Sanders, go ahead and declare it. Go ahead, Saskia, and declare it. A release. Sister Kayan, Sister Hyacinth, open your mouth and declare it. Sister Marcia, Sister Tasia, open your mouth and declare it. Sister Keisha, Sister Debbie, open your mouth and declare it. Sister Steele, Sister Moses, open. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Declare it. Mm -hmm. Declare it. Declare your release. It is your time. Yes, Sister Darrett. Declare it. Make that declaration. Speak it into existence. Declare it, Sister Benib. Declare it over your life. People have got to open them out and make declarations. Declare it. Make declarations, declare it. Enough is enough. We are in a new year and we are not praying the prayers that we prayed last year. We are going forward. We are not going backward, Sister Marcia. Open your mouth and declare that release now. Hallelujah. Declare that release now. God is talking to us. Jesus, my God. Declare it. There's a scripture in the Bible talk about no faith. Jesus. Mighty God. In the book of Psalm 118 and verse 25, it says, Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. I beseech thee, send prosperity now. So there is a scripture in the Bible where David was demanding prosperity from God. He said, I beseech thee, O Lord. I beg thee, O Lord. I beseech thee, send prosperity now. My God. Yes, Psalm 118, verse 25. He said, send prosperity now. Send prosperity now. Hallelujah. Jesus. Send prosperity now. I'm not preaching prosperity. Psalm 118 and verse 25, it declared, it said, Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send prosperity. Somebody put up this scripture for me. Psalm 100 and, yes, 18 and verse 25. Send prosperity now, I beseech thee. He was asking God to send it. Mighty God. Jesus. David was praising God. He said, open to me the gates of righteousness and I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord into which righteousness shall enter. And in verse, hallelujah, 25, he said, save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send prosperity now. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. We thank you, Lord, for prosperity. 
He wants us to prosper and be in good health, even as our soul prosper. But there is a scripture here that reminds us that we are asking God, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee. I came to tell somebody here tonight, God is about to bless you. God is about to bless you. Whatever was taken from you, God is about to restore. Divine restoration will be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Divine restoration is your portion according to the word of God. I came to tell you tonight, it is the word of God. The Lord wants you to understand that he is doing a new thing in this season and he wants you to be a part of it. Hallelujah. Please, Lord, please save us. Please, Lord, give us success. This is what David was asking God for. Success. He said, please, I beseech thee, O Lord. Somebody, you are tired of praying. You don't know what to ask God for. It doesn't matter what you ask for. You never receive anything. And tonight, I came to let you know God is about to open your doors. God is about to bless you. God is about to show you his mighty hand. God is about to turn it around in your favor god is about to lose you tonight my god somebody say loose me jesus hallelujah somebody say loose me daddy jesus yes glory to god he is about to release you he is about to release you Somebody say, I release myself from everything that I took that was not mine. Many of us, we inherit bondage. Many of us, yes, we inherit some bondage. And tonight I came to talk to you. Release yourself from the bondage that you have inherited. Many of you go to somebody's platform and you said, I take it. And you didn't know what you were taking was bondage. I came to talk to somebody tonight. I release myself from every inherited bondage. Many of you, you inherit some bondage. And it's time to come out of it. Mm-hmm. It is time to come out of the bondage that you inherited. Yes, some people inherit money. They inherit property. They inherit all kinds of stuff. And there are some of us who go to other people's platform to inherit bondage. And tonight we decree and we declare that every bondage that we inherit, we lose ourselves from it. We release ourselves. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we release ourselves from the bondage that we inherited. Some of you, you inherit some sickness. Some of you, you inherit all kinds of things. But tonight, I came to let you know every bondage that you have inherited. I ask heaven to open up to release you. Everything you took on. That was not of God. Many of you go to platforms and you said, I take it. This is my... No, you did not know that you were inheriting bondage. So tonight, every bondage that you inherited, release yourself from it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Bishop, welcome. God bless you. My God. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Release yourself from every bondage that you inherit. Many times, this is what, because we didn't understand the spirit that was released in the atmosphere. And we took it. And we said, I grab it, I take it. You took on bondage. Hallelujah. So tonight, we release ourselves from every bondage that we inherited. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God is releasing in this season. God said he's releasing in this season. So you better release yourself from the bondage that you went ahead and inherit from someplace else. My God. Somebody said, tonight we destroy every evil plantation. Every evil plantation, 
in the name of Jesus. Every evil plantation. You see, this is the thing. Some people are asking God to send his axe of fire to the foundation of their life. To destroy every evil plantation. Many of us are part of an evil plantation. And tonight we're asking God to destroy every evil plantation that is connected to us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We destroy it. Hallelujah. We destroy it. Sister Nadine, we destroy it. Sister Debbie, we destroy it. Sister Denise, we destroy it. Sister Lana, open them out and destroy it. Sister Gracia, go ahead and destroy every evil plantation. Destroy it. Hallelujah. Destroy it by the fire of God. You have to destroy it. My God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We destroy it. Every evil plantation. We destroy it. Many of us are a part of some plantations that are evil. And tonight we are disconnecting ourselves from it. Jesus. Somebody said, I disconnect myself from every evil plantation in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, I disconnect myself from every evil plantation in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, I disconnect. Disconnect. Disconnect yourself. Many things we have to get disconnected from it. There are some things we have to disconnect from. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory to God. We have to disconnect. Somebody said disconnect. We have to disconnect. Jesus. There are some of us that some things were transferred to us in the womb. Hallelujah. There are some of us. There are some things that were transferred to us. To us, it was transferred to us while we were yet in our mother's womb. Hallelujah. My God. It was transfer while yet we were still in a, or, or as a little fetus. While we were a little bit a clot of blood in our mother's womb. Some things were transferred to us. And tonight we have to disconnect from it. Many of us, that's where our problems began in our mother's womb while we were in the belly. My God. Some of us, all we attract problems. Jesus. Somebody's asking for prayer for marriage. May the Lord bless your marriage. May the Lord bless your marriage. Many times what happened was the thing happened to us in our mother's womb and we were born a certain way. And everywhere we go, the thing follow us. And we can't understand what this is. We cannot understand the thing that's happening. We can't figure out what is happening to us. 
and the thing came. from our mother's womb so somebody open them out and declare tonight every problem from my mother's side that I inherit from my mother's womb I release myself from it and every problem from my father's side I release myself from it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Hallelujah. Every problem from my father's side, I release myself from it. And every problem from my mother's side, I release myself from it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Many of us went into some covenant. And the covenant was not of God. And we didn't understand. We went into some covenant indirectly. So tonight we pray that every covenant that we have entered into, the known and the unknown, every covenant that was not of God, that we went into, the known and the unknown, we ask God to destroy it. We separate ourselves from it. We remove ourselves. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus. We break loose from every covenant that was not of God. The known and the unknown. There are some that will trick us to Hmm. Every evil covenant that we have entered into, the known and the unknown. Tonight we break loose from it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, every evil covenant that we have entered into, the known and the unknown. The reason why we said unknown, many of us will enter into it and we didn't know, we didn't understand. So we pray and break loose every evil covenant that we became a part of, the ones that we know about and the ones that we don't know about. I came to talk to somebody here tonight in the name of Jesus, open them out and declare it. Every evil covenant Many times that's the barrier, that's the blockage, that's the problem. We came up against some things and we got into it and we didn't understand that the thing was not of God. So we break loose every evil covenant. Mm -hmm. We break loose every evil covenant in the name of Jesus. We break it. The known and the unknown. My God. Jesus, separate yourself from it. The known and the unknown. We separate ourselves from it. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We separate ourselves tonight. From every evil covenant that we made, that we got ourselves into. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Jesus, for opening our eyes. Hallelujah. Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. There are some strong men. That are foundational. 
and they paralyze us. Hallelujah. So every foundational strong man that's paralyzing us, paralyzing our children, we break in the name of Jesus. We break in the name of Jesus. We break Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I came to tell somebody, remember, when Ruth left Moab, she never go back. She walk out in faith. She walk away from what she was familiar with. The sins that she had seen, she said to Naomi, your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die. So she walked away from the things that didn't value, have bring any value to her life, didn't benefit her. And she never looked back. People of God, there are things that we got ourselves into that we have to come out of it. The familiar lifestyle, the things that we grew up to see that was not of God and we didn't know. Now we know. We're going to break away from the things that are not of God. We're going to cut loose from the things that are not of God. We're going to walk away from the things that are not of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. Somebody said, let every wicked that come up against me and my family be impotent. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every wicked that come up against my children, my spiritual children, my spiritual sisters and brothers, my everything that's coming up against them, let it be impotent. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, call it null and void in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Ruth walk away from that which she was familiar to when she left with Naomi and went back to Naomi hometown with her and she never looked back. She never looked back. So tonight we walk away from everything that is not of God. Tonight we walk away from everything that is not of God. Whatever in our life that does not glorify God, tonight we walk away from it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. I just want to tell somebody. The Lord said you are all that. Somebody tell you that you are nothing. And the Lord said you are all that. And more. They keep telling you that you are nothing. But I hear the Lord said I should tell you. You are all that. And more. Hallelujah. The Lord said I should remind you. That you are all that and more. Whatever the enemy is allowing you to think and believe. That you are not worth it. He said you are all that. That's why he allowed you to wait for so long. Because he was fixing you. Hallelujah. He said you are all that. Jesus. 
Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
God will do it. Hallelujah. God will do it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God will do it. He is God Almighty. He is God all by himself. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to be prepared for the fasting. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, Birmingham, England. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome. God bless you. Grenada, welcome. God bless you. People of God, remember our charity. Hallelujah. Remember our charity. We are here to bless those that the Lord have selected. So I encourage you to be reminded that every month we send our charity donations so we can be a blessing. We're not only here to pray, we are here for people to see tangible gifts from God. So their home can be blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, that their homes can be blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Yes. Jesus. Glory to God. If you are not a member of any church, you can feel free to join us. The number is 860-634-8557. You can send us a message on whatsapp hallelujah yes you can send us a message on whatsapp feel free to join send us a message and let us know that you are interested to be a part of the ministry if you are a part of a ministry and you want to partner with us yes you can join feel free if you want to partner with us the number is 860-634-8557 if the lord touch your heart and you want to be a blessing to the ministry the number is the same you can use zelle paypal or cash app 860-634 8557 Amen Yes, if the Lord touch your heart and you want to bless us That's the number You can use Zelle, PayPal or Cash App And the Lord will bless you Glory to God Hallelujah I came out tonight to pray and we have prayed 
So I encourage you to share this broadcast to those who didn't come on tonight. For those who didn't come on tonight, I encourage you to share it with them. The Lord is speaking in this season. And I encourage you to be obedient, people of God. Everything that you inherited that was not of God, release yourself from it. Render your enemies impotent. <laughs> that one is new, right? <laughs> that one is new tonight. To render our enemies impotent. Those who have been fighting us. Those who have been coming up against us. We render them impotent. Those who are, yes. You see, your enemy want to kill you. To steal from you. To rob, to kill, and to destroy. So your enemy have three assignments. You only have one assignment to deal with your enemies. Pray. You're not going to face your enemies. Just pray. Just pray. Render them impotent. It's over. Mandeville, Jamaica, welcome. Render your enemies impotent. When you render them impotent, it means that they are useless. It doesn't matter how good they look. They are useless. <laughs> Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how nice they look. They are impotent. Wow. My God. Yes. So I encourage you. When you come here, open your mouth and pray. We know the network is bad. It's freezing up. But we pray for peace to be still. Hallelujah. My God. Once again, beautiful people of God, I want to tell you that I love you with the love of the Lord. Continue to come and pray with us and back us up in prayer and support whatever the Lord touch your heart to give. We don't charge. Amen. We don't give you a specific number, but we are asking you to be a blessing in this time. We will be going, El Shaddai will, prayer tower will be going to Florida <laughs> in the month of February. Hallelujah. It's, it's the time of year again for our Florida revival. So we will be going to Florida to tear up Florida as usual. Yes, we are going to tear up Florida as usual. Amen. We are going down there to pray, to howl and to bawl and to pray and cry out to God. We're going down here on fasting for three-day revival, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning and Sunday night. And we're back out of there by Monday. So I encourage you, people of God, to stand with us in prayer. And for those of you who won't be able to make it, we're looking forward for your support while we travel. Amen. And that would be in the month of February for a day to be announced. I think it's going to be the end of February. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing. Last year we went down there in the month of March. And the year before that we went down there in February. This year we're going back in February. I encourage you people of God to come if you can't. If you can't come. Yes, yeah, stretch forth your hands to support us while we are there. Hallelujah. It will be great as usual. God will always move. I thank God for El Shaddai prayer tower. Amen. It keeps us in check. Many times I want to be here, but I can't. As far as I say, people of God, whenever you don't see me on the live, pray for me. This morning, I had to take some time away to go and do the work of the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. God bless you. Somebody's sending the Jamaican flag. May the Lord honor your request Lorraine Jacko may the Lord bless you in this time amen so we have to be obedient whenever you don't see me on the live just pray for me I received quite a few messages 
those who are asking if I'm coming live, if I'm okay, yes, I'm okay. But the work of God has to continue even when we are not on social media. Most of the work of God is done off social media, not on here. But I encourage you to remember me and my family in prayer. Hallelujah. Remember me and my loved ones, the people that I love in prayer. Amen. My time is up. I have to go. Yes. Remember our charity for the month of January. We are still collecting donations for charity. Amen. And I encourage you to give generously. Glory to God. Have yourself a wonderful and blessed Holy Ghost filled night. And I will see you tomorrow. Amen. God bless you all.